In the newsletter you have today, you'll see that there's a huge section on Synod 2021 to 2023. This synod was called by Pope Francis because he wants to hear from the people of God. He hears from cardinals and bishops and priests and all these other fellows, but he's, I was going to say he's tired of hearing from them, but what he wants to do is hear from the people of God. And so he set up this uh, synod. And the synod is not just for Rome, not just for Italy, but it's for New Zealand, it's for Australia, it's for all the countries in the world. Francis wants to hear from us. Francis said, this synod is not to produce more documents, rather it's intended to inspire people to dream about the church we are called to be. Francis doesn't want a whole lot of documents. He doesn't want the synod to produce a whole lot of paper. No, we've had enough of that. What he wants is to hear people dreaming about the church we are called to be. He doesn't want to produce paper. He wants to hear the dreams of God's people, the dreams, our dreams for our church. So Francis has made it very clear. He wants to inspire us, the people of God, to dream about the church we are called to be. What I'd like to do now is just to take the logo and to explain some of the things that are there because I think it speaks really clearly about what the synod is about. Right at the bottom of the logo are these words, for a synodal church, communion, participation, and mission. The word synod, it's a word we don't use so much uh, these days, it's certainly a church word, but the word synod comes from two Latin words that mean to walk together. So this synod that Francis has called, that the Pope has called, is about us walking together, walking together. This symbol is the symbol of the tree of life. You can see the branches rising heavenward so that this tree points to our God. This tree is about our giving worship and praise to God. But those same arms of the tree are open open to receive, open to welcome God's people to the church. You can see the head at the top. It is a round disc, and it talks about Jesus the Christ, the Eucharist. It talks about Jesus being the head of the church and our being the body of Christ. So that's the first symbol, and it is about communion, about being in union with Jesus Christ, about being in union with the church, about being in union with one another. That's the uh, second symbol. The third symbol is this one. You can see all the people there, the people of God. I mentioned that the word synod means to walk together. And so this is another of the symbols in the logo. All these people Little bloke, tall bloke, bishop bloke, fellows in wheelchairs, all different colors, showing that we come from different backgrounds and different cultures, men, women, children. But notice the bishop. The bishop's not out front. The bishop's not at the back. The bishop is among us, walking together with us. And that's an image of the church that Francis, that the Pope believes in so, so dearly. That it's not about this bishop bloke or this priest bloke or this Pope bloke being right out the front and uh, dragging us off and leaving us behind or way at the back, um, not even bothered about us, disconnected from us. So you see, 
the bishop there among the people of God, walking together. And this is the mission of the church, that as the people of God, together, walking, we go to uh, our families, our communities, our country, the world, to proclaim Jesus the Christ. So that's the logo of the synod with its parts. You can see the, one of the words on the logo was participation. And this is the part that we uh, are going to be involved in. Participation. To take part in. To play a part in. And in the document for the synod, it says that one of the first things we have to do is learn how to listen. Now, I know that you fellows learn, listen really well. Priests, on the other hand, are not so great at it, and we need to be taught how to listen well. And so together, together, we listen. We listen to whom? We listen to the Holy Spirit, present in our midst. So our first aspect of participation is listening. The second one is, is discerning. So listening, Francis wants to listen to our dreams. But some of our dreams can be really, really way out there. Some of our dreams can be really way out. And some of the dreams are just not appropriate. And so this gift of discerning is so important that the church listens to the dreams of uh, its people and then discerns, look, this is great. This needs to be tweaked. This needs to be changed. This isn't so good. So discerning the words that are heard, discerning the dreams that are shared. Then lastly, in our participation, we're called to speak out. Having listened to the Holy Spirit in our midst, having discerned the dreams that we dream, we then are called to speak out, to make our dreams heard, uh, heard here, in our parish, heard here in our diocese, in our country, in our church, worldwide. Know that Pope Francis wants this to happen. He loved for us to listen. He would love to discern. And then most of all, he wants to hear us speak. So this is what participation means in the Synod, 2021 to 2023. And to that end, here in our parish, we're looking at getting, having a get-together, so an informal get-together, so that we can look at some of the main themes of the Synod. So on Tuesday, the 16th of November, here in uh, St. Patrick's Church, from 6.30 to 8 p.m., uh, we're going to have a chance, a chance to listen to the Holy Spirit, a chance to discern uh, what we've heard, and then a chance to speak. So we're calling on people who would like to be a part of this, and we hope that a lot of you would like to be a part of this, that there's going to be a registration, just so we know how many hundreds we can cope with. Uh, and then outside, Tabitha is going to be by the, um, what do you call those things? iPads. Tabitha's going to be by the iPads, so that anyone who would like to register can register. Um, so if you, please, take the newsletter, Read what this synod is about and then say, yeah, I'd like to be a part of this. I'd love to be a part of this. In silence, we pray. 